Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be working on our golf cart. Golf cart on this is edition of In the Shed with Red. Hey guys, today on In the Shed with Red, I'm here with Jake and Reese. And we have a 95 East Club Car DS. 95 Club Car DS. Uh, ran great. We were in the woods putting out deer corn and all of a sudden it just died. Um, we'd been on it for about an hour and that was it. Uh, tried the basic stuff, carburetor, changed the carburetor, cleaned it, um, put a new air filter in, all that stuff. About, you know, it's a 50 buck kit that you can buy on Amazon. It didn't change anything. This is what it does. It's not getting fired. So it'll run, but it won't fire. So here's the problem. And I figured this out after watching a couple other YouTube videos, but there's not a lot of information on YouTube about this. So right underneath where it says club car, OHV, underneath the oil spout, there is this. It's where your voltage regulator sits in and then you have an igniter. Uh, our igniter was bad. Uh, it didn't have fire to the igniter. So what we did was we changed the igniter. I'm gonna plug it back in. The ground on the regular, regular, the regulator, voltage regulator has been cut by somebody previously. The wire we're gonna be plugging in is actually a black wire with a female clip and we'll just plug it right on the igniter. We'll be back with that in a minute. Okay, so one problem we have is this is the old igniter that came off and it's about half the size of the new igniter. So whenever I put this back in and my voltage regulator slides in, it doesn't want to fit properly. So I've shifted it to the side. Hopefully I've got enough room under there. What you have is you have these two bolts that bolt to the, the actual motor. These two hold your voltage regulator into place. Some people take the body off to get to this. Some people will completely remove the motor to get to this. I've been able to do all of it with just a 10 millimeter long socket and an extension and i've been able to get to all of it fine it's just a little bit of a pain in the butt if you're a bigger guy it's probably not going to happen but if you're small like me i can easily get my arms in there and manipulate it around all right hang on and we'll show you it running in just a second all right so we got the bracket back on all four bolts are back in place that means it's grounded to the motor i'm putting the female clip back onto the igniter now we'll switch it on see what she's got all right i'm gonna hold the camera jake i'm gonna show them where i was going we're gonna try to show you what it looks like underneath this is gonna be challenging all right let's see if i can get a shot i doubt i can actually I can so there's the voltage regulator box you can see the bracket behind it there's four 10 ohm bolts you see the igniter in the back and there's my female plugged in and that's it so sorry for the crazy video but thanks for watching in the shed with red